everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it is so good to be back and finally going back to my roots, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't made a try on haul in so long. I feel like I've had so many different projects going on. But, oh, I need to clean my camera lens. One second. Y'all are looking a little crusty, musty. You can't do that. Oh my god. I'm gonna assume that looks better. Because it looks better from here. I don't know. I haven't made a try on haul in like a month. Like I feel like that's so unlike me. And um, I'm quite sorry. I just wasn't feeling really motivated. So I just I feel like I couldn't fake the energy for a video. And you guys know that's just not how I am. So before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's free and you get a cookie. And follow my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Snapchat. Because I do things all there. I'm aware that the audio isn't the best. I have very high ceilings. I don't really know how to fix that unless I get a new mic, which I might do. So please bear with me. Fall is here and I am all for it. I love me some sun. The type of heat that we were getting was just not cute. Like I was sweating in places that I should not be sweating from. No, I just... No, thank you. This haul is like all over the place because the stuff that I got, there's not much of a theme. I needed new things and some things are a little bit, you know, outside of my comfort zone. But I feel like that, yeah, you gotta try new stuff, you know? And as a Taurus woman, that's not really something that I do. But anyways, this is something that's not out of my comfort zone. We love some neutrals during the fall. Here we have a really nice halter dress. I think I explained this in a previous haul, but I really like how the halter fits. It's, it's like a deep halter so it doesn't overpower your chest and I really enjoy that because I I'm a thick girl but my torso is kind of small it's uh, narrow shoulders I like that it shows off a little bit more of my shoulders so it makes them look a little bit bigger I mean I know that's not something that people would want <laughs> I don't know what kind of pattern this is but I fuck with it like I think it's very on trend right now it's kind of animal print but a little bit abstract it's giving me a little chill cheetah a little leopard but not all the way there so i really like that you know? the color is stunning i love this kind of like burnt orange kind of brown it's like a nice chocolatey color it looks good on every like i don't think this color would look bad on anybody so i really really like and it's kind of a knitted fabric as well it doesn't have the craziest stretch but it's got enough stretch it falls above my knee so this is more of a midi dress i would say and then it it has the two little buttons right here for the back and it has kind of like a heat keyhole. Imagine it with like a nice pico over top. This is not a dress that I would want to dress down. Like I want to feel bougie in this dress. Like I would go to a fancy museum in this dress and just stunt on these hoes because that's what we have to do. Of course I'm gonna have everything linked down below. I literally, almost none of the things in here have the tag because I've already worn them or I've already taken pictures in. I don't remember the names of them but I do remember the sizing so I got this in a large. Our second dress which I've already posted in is probably one of my favorites. So I love vintage things. I just really like old things for some reason. I'm not sure why. Love. I love secondhand things or just vintage or just anything old. I'm all for and it probably has something to do with the fact that I love old people maybe I'm not sure a dress that would resemble your grandma's curtain or maybe her tablecloth I don't know but I am living for this scheme it is a really nice teal color it is um suede is this the suede material no it's like um crap Ugh. I always blank on this fabric what is this called Okay, you know those juicy tracksuits like from Juicy Couture? That fabric, like from the 2000s, that fabric, that's what. And I don't know if that's, that's not suede. It's not suede. It's something else. I just can't fleece. I don't know. I can't remember. Whatever. I'm all for complimentary colors. So this is like a nice split complimentary. So we got like the peach with the teal. So pretty. And it just gives me like 60s vibe kind of. And that's inspo that I had for the picture that I took. It's a mock neck. And the sleeves also kind of cover your shoulder. Which is also quite the 60s I believe. I'm not sure. But it just it gives you old. Old. 
I'm living for it. I love old. Give me all of the old. So anyway, I love this dress. Probably not a comfortable dress to go out in, but if you have like a dinner or something where you're just stationary and you're not really doing anything, I recommend it. It just, it rides up a little bit because of the fabric. And it is a mini dress, so, you know, if you have a big booty, probably not the best idea. Okay, next we have a top. This is called Don't Walk Away Top. I got it in a size large. I still have the tag, I haven't worn it out, but I, I don't have anything like this top. A cute little blouse and it's a crop top. So with a nice high waist jean, I wore those with my mom jeans and I don't know, it just gives me old again. I don't know, I feel like you would wear these in the 90s for some reason. It's like the nice flowy blouses, you know? And it has two ties. So you tie it right on your boob and then a little bit at the bottom, like right by your waist. So it gives you a nice secure feeling. And I don't wear a bra with this because I feel like there's no need to be honest. And it's not see-through. I do wish I had a pair of light wash denim because light wash denim would look really, really good with that. Okay, then we're back to plain. You guys know I'm boring. I just have, I don't have any gray turtlenecks or any gray staples really. I just have black and white. And I figured well why the hell not you know let's put some gray in there and I didn't realize that it does really good with a lot of things so I just think it's good for layering and I needed a new top so on top of that of course this would not be a fall trying haul if I didn't have a jean jacket okay this is probably it's like my fifth jacket and I'm not even done <laughs> because there's two other ones in this haul that I'm gonna show. It is lined with Sherpa on the inside. This is gonna be perfect for winter so it does feel quite chunky. We are not done with the jackets. Love the colors. So we have a cheetah. Cheetah or leopard? No, I think this is cheetah now. It has a zipper. It has a half zipper. It doesn't go all the way down which I like because I hate when zippers go all the way down. It is cropped and then also the sleeves are a little bit slouchy. I don't think I would be itchy with this. I would probably sweat a Lot, but I would not be itchy. <sighs> you guessed it. I wouldn't expect myself to be wearing this, but I thought it was cute. This actually comes from a set, but I didn't get the set. Like they sold the pieces separately. Came with a skirt, but I I don't really wear skirts. So anyway, this is called the Kira Velvet Jacket. Look at it. Look at the shine. This color looks good on everyone. I got this in a size large and it fits really really nice. It is also cropped. It has black buttons. Just your typical jacket. It has pockets. The inside also has like a meshy fabric so it doesn't feel uncomfortable. I thought it was interesting like I've never tried anything like this and it definitely spices up an outfit. Love me some lavender. I'm gonna go and be great. Okay if you know that reference I love you forever. Okay then the jeans which I'm actually wearing right now wearing the jeans and the cami so I'll just do like the side by side because I'm I'm not about to stand up so the jeans are just your light wash high-waisted denim I I kind of forgot how much I like these jeans until today when I took my pictures <laughs> they're the ones that don't really have pockets they have the back pockets but they don't have front ones and they're just like a nice sleek look all around and it only has a few rips if I had mom jeans this color wash i would be such a happy camper i wouldn't say that they're cropped at the ankle but they're definitely a little bit shoulder shoulder they're a little bit shoulder a little bit shorter which is perfect for boots booties heels i just really don't like when pants like bunch up at the bottom and my last item i apologize this was a short haul i don't know there's like 10 items in here but last thing is completely out of my comfort zone honestly i got this so i can take a picture of it because i thought it was fucking beautiful and i tried it on for the first time since i got it today and i was like shorty is bomb this is called let's get lost tonight embroidered mini dress i'm sorry midi dress I got this in a size extra large and look at this beauty you guys know that my favorite color is emerald green and look at this god okay so in the boobs it's got this gold surrounding the boobs and then this pattern that goes all the way down if this wasn't strapless if this happened to be like an old body this looks like low-key a flapper dress from the 20s again giving me old and i just really like patterns and i also step it has like sequin everywhere so when i stepped out like well i didn't step out but there was sun shining on my dress 
and it looks so pretty. Let me see if I can even get it to shine. No, nope, can't get it, but <laughs> but the sun was hitting it just right, and oh my god, it looks so pretty. Like some inspo for this dress, so I'm gonna wait on it. I don't wanna rush it. I want it to be like a whole production for this dress, because it is so pretty. I know I'm not gonna have like a crazy event to wear this. It's cute. Look at it. It does have stretch. So honestly, I should have gotten a large, but my hips are big, so I don't know. There's If there's a way for me to make this part less stretchy, I probably should, I don't know, get it tailored and I'll sew it myself so that it's a little bit tighter around the boobs. But other than that, it fits so great. Now I have glitter everywhere. This stuff has glitter? Oh, it does. <laughs> but yeah, I love this. This just looks really, really well made. And it has mesh material too. Bottom, it's see-through. It's just cute. This is just such a vibe. So that's it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I apologize if it was short. Honestly, I thought I had a lot of items. Um, I don't know. I have to ease my way back in here, you know? <laughs> I feel like I haven't done this in a while. A thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you did it, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do about that. But if you watched it all the way through, damn, shout outs to you. You gave me a view. Did that rhyme? I don't know. Was that bars? It was slight bars, wasn't it? I hope you're having a wonderful day or a wonderful night or whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.